Good Tuesday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Conversations with Eddie News. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. We, of course, have your news headlines coming up on this Tuesday. We have the truth of the day with Mary Ellen Teganovich, and in today's entertainment spotlight, being part of my conversation with actor Akorier White. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Conversations with Eddie News, I'm Cyrus Webb with your Tuesday headlines and national news. Crews spend fifth day atop shaky pile of collapsed concrete. Rescuers searching for a fifth day for survivors of a Florida condo building collapse used bucket brigades and heavy machinery on Monday as they worked atop a precarious mound of pulverized concrete, twisted steel, and the remnants of dozens of households. Authorities said the efforts are still a search and rescue operation, but no one has been found alive since hours after the collapse on Thursday. Ten people have been confirmed killed, and more than 150 others are still missing in the community of Surfside, just outside of Miami. The pancake collapse of the 12-story building left layer upon layer of intertwined debris, frustrating efforts to reach anyone who may have survived in a pocket of space. The fire chief noted that families who rode buses to visit the site on Sunday witnessed a rescuer tumble 25 feet down the pile. Workers and victims must both be considered, he said. It's going to take time, said the fire chief. It's not going to happen overnight. It is a 12-story building. Relatives continued their visits on Monday from outside a neighboring building. More than two dozen family members watched teams of searchers excavate the building site. Some held onto each other for support. Others hugged and prayed. Some people took photos. The intense effort includes firefighters, sniffer dogs, and search experts using radar and sonar devices. Early Monday, a crane lifted a large slab of concrete from the debris pile, enabling about 30 rescuers in hard hats to move in and carry smaller pieces of debris into red buckets, which are emptied into a larger bin for a crane to remove. The work has been complicated by intermittent rain showers, but the fire that hampered the initial search has been extinguished. In more national news, Biden working to get infrastructure package back on track. President Joe Biden is hoping to get the bipartisan infrastructure deal on track by highlighting its expected economic benefits, stressing its $973 billion would include the largest investment in transportation in nearly a century and millions of jobs would be created. White House officials issued an internal memo highlighting the impact on jobs and growth ahead of Biden leaving today for Wisconsin to make his case directly to voters. The memo obtained by the Associated Press notes that the total is four times the size of the infrastructure investment made a dozen years ago in response to the Great Recession and the biggest infrastructure package since Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal. It also emphasized an analysis suggesting that 90% of the jobs generated by the spending could go to workers without college degrees, a key shift as a majority of net job gains before the pandemic went to college graduates. McConnell said on Monday he has not decided if he will support the bipartisan package, but he wants Biden to pressure House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Democratic Leader Chuck Schumer to say they will allow the bipartisan agreement to pass without mandating that the much larger and broader follow-up bill be in place. The Democratic leaders did not immediately respond to McConnell's remarks. In more national news, senators to watch as Democrats debate changing filibuster rules. Looming over Senate Democrats this year is a decision that could fundamentally change Congress, whether to change or eliminate the rules of the filibuster to enact President Joe Biden's agenda. Liberal advocates have pushed hard for the change, urging the Senate to modify or eliminate the rules that now require a vote of 60 of the 100 senators to advance most bills. Many Democrats are on board, arguing that Republicans are determined to block almost every one of their priorities in the 50-50 Senate, even though Democrats hold Congress and the presidency. In business news, gas prices rise again, no sign of letting up this summer. After a brief dip, gas prices in the U.S. are on the rise again. The U.S. average price for a gallon of gas rose 2.5 cents from last week to $3.09 per gallon on Monday, according to the travel and fuel price tracking app GasBuddy. The national average is now almost 5 cents higher than a month ago and 92 cents higher than this time last year. And finally in entertainment news, Maya Moore to receive Arthur Ashe Award at the ESPYs. 
Maya Moore will receive the Arthur Ashe Courage Award at the ESPYs for her work on criminal justice reform. The four-time WNBA champion will receive the honor from Good Morning American's Robin Roberts on July the 10th in New York. It's the same day that the late tennis champion would have turned 78. Moore stepped away from her basketball career in 2019 to seek justice for Jonathan Irons, who is serving a 50-year prison sentence after being wrongfully convicted of burglary and assault. Irons' conviction was overturned last year, and he was freed. The couple later married. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's all time for the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Tagamit. Mary Ellen, take it away. Hi, this is Mary Ellen with your Truth of the Day. Have a life outside of work. Always consider your personal needs because they are no less important than your work obligations. Make sure you have a life outside of work. Empower yourself to reintroduce play and relaxation into your life. You do not need to feel you are shirking your duties for more vital obligations because when you do not take care of you, you cannot take care of anything, including your work. Allow yourself plenty of time to unwind between work duties. Introduce balance into your life by scaling back on your duties and taking play breaks. This will help you to accomplish more. Your concept of success must not be associated with working until you drop or putting your labors before anything else. Today, make time to put aside obligations and take care of you. And remember, enjoy your day. Actor Corey White is featured in today's Entertainment Spotlight right here on Conversation Daily News. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with the Entertainment Spotlight. Actor Corey A. White joined me recently on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about his extraordinary career and the journey that led him to where he is today. Here's a bit of our conversation. What has it been like for you to kind of see how your hard work is paying off for you right now? Um, sometimes it's, it's still surreal to me because, you know, we, I feel like as, as people, whatever we say and believe and work towards, that's what happens. Um, so I'm still trying to grasp, you know, that feeling for it because for me it was just, you know, hard work paid off and I was more happy to see my grandma uh, happy about it. And that, that's what drives me and motivates me. Um, she's very big in my life and just seeing the happiness from her and that positive light on our family, uh, it, it made a different world of a difference for me. And, and I think, you know, the interesting thing is that, you know, this is something, like you said, you know, that you've been able to do uh, and you've been able to share this experience with some amazing people. I mean, do you still have those wow moments at this point, Akorye, of the people you've been able to work with uh, and the people who are recognizing your work? I, I do. Um, believe it or not, I'm still shocked at some of the people I've worked with. Cause, you know, you grow up as kids, you watch them. Um, I never wanted to be an actor as a kid. I just learned all the movies in the house. <laughs> but um, now that I'm working with these people and seeing like the, the level of expertise that they bring to what they do, it's it's a, an amazing feeling. Um, like once you yeah. actually are in the moment and you recognize, um, you know, the achievement of where you where you become. You know, what was it like for you to be able to? Not only to do what you love, uh, Corey, but also to share the stage with people that love it as well. It, it, it was that one uh, was intense for me that that movie because I gave up football to do acting, and my only thing was I wanted to be in a football movie that was based on a true story and play a running back and have it come out in theaters. And exactly again, what I spoke came to fruition. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. We'll have the guests on tomorrow with more news. Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Taganovich and, of course, your entertainment spotlight. Until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Daily News today. Let's make today amazing. Take care.